Hey guys, just here for a quick little lesson on how to annotate a poem. Um, I'm going to be looking today at The Painted Door by Lorna Crozier. Um, a lot of you guys missed what that poem was about, so I want to take some time to go over how to actually annotate and understand what poems are saying. Um, I didn't do this with you guys in the beginning because I was really impressed with all the work that you had done with tone. Um, with the previous exercises and I um, have been telling my colleagues actually that I think you guys are one of the brightest groups that I've taught and so I figured that you guys could just do it on your own but uh, you know sometimes annotating poems is a little bit more difficult than actually um, understanding what a short story is talking about um, just because there's so much breadth and depth in such a small amount of space and so understanding the true message of a poem can be a little bit more difficult. So we're gonna get into that now. So first of all, we're gonna look at what annotation is. When you're annotating a text, uh, you're marking the pages of the book or the passage or the poem that you've read. Um, and so you need to have like a pen or a pencil with you. Um, and there's things that you can do to annotate. You can use brackets, you can underline, you can use different colors. Um, you can circle words. It's really uh, unique to the way that you think and the way that you do things. Um, so my annotation might end up looking a little bit different than other people's annotations. So we're going to get started right away here with the painted door.